Hey, Jill, thanks for taking the time to meet with us. Um, have you signed anybody that we had that, that hasn't been announced yet? And what's the update in terms of like the plan the rest of the day and in the ensuing week on free agency? Well, uh, we're, we're going to continue to talk to the players that we, we feel is a good fit. Um, I know a lot of players went off the board today, uh, but uh, we, uh, you know, we, we're, uh, we're, we're near the near the cap, and obviously, uh, uh, everybody knows that Philip Luke Grubauer signed in Seattle, and uh, it was one of those negotiations that uh, uh, we we just couldn't get to the number that uh, that he was at, and uh, uh, we wish him the best of luck. So, so in the meantime, uh, now in the next little while, we'll be we'll be circling the phones, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, you know two or three uh, goalies in, in our mind, and uh, uh, we'll we'll try and acquire them. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Yeah, Joe, I also wanted to ask, in, in light of Philip leaving, what um, Pavel Francouz's status is going into the season? I know you said at the deadline you expected him to be ready, but is that is he still on pace to be ready for the start of next season? Yeah, it's my understanding. I mean, he was uh, he was doing real well right at the end of the year, so he was coming. His rehab was going real well. He was, uh, you know, on, on, on pace to, to come into training camp uh, 100% healthy. So uh, I haven't heard anything different, but uh, we're, we're, uh, he's excited and uh, we're, we're excited to have a healthy uh, Pavel. Rod Mackey, Nine News. Hey, Joe, you, you can't keep them all as much as you want to, but when you've had a guy who's done as much as Groovy has, especially, I mean, you could make the argument last year he was your MVP. How tough is that uh, for you to deal with and to try to keep out the – I mean, you got to make the move, but obviously not an easy one for you. Well, no, it's not. Uh, he did a lot of great things for us. Uh, um, he he played real well. I think uh, uh, he helped us as as much as uh, our the way we played helped him as as well. So I think uh, uh, to have the the. the uh, the defensive metrics that we had, uh, we, we gave up some of the fewest shots in the league and in scoring opportunities. And uh, um, so, so the team, uh, the, the team played well. And uh, like I said, he when when we needed huge saves, he came up big for us. So he was, he really um, you know kept us in games, and, and we're going to miss that. But uh, but uh, he's moved on, and obviously there's you know flat cap. Uh, you have to make tough decisions, and and for us, uh, we want to make sure we kept kept our core guys together that's uh, the most important thing to us and uh and now we're 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 gonna have to look for the we're, we're gonna look for the next uh next philip eric dean mile high sports hey joe the two or three goalies you said you guys have in mind are you looking more toward the free agency market or the trade market for that sense well, we're going to keep all options open here, but uh, but right now uh, we we've been talking to team we've been talking to teams for for, for a little while now, uh, uh, just in case uh, this was uh, 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 the reality, and so we're going to continue talking with those teams, and uh, and we'll see what we'll see what's out there. But uh, it's our intention to make sure uh, we have we have someone uh, uh, to rotate with Pavel. Evan Rall, DNBR. Hey, Joe, um, with the move of Ryan Graves and, you know, no, I guess Eric Johnson still, you know, we're not sure if he's going to be completely healthy. Is the is the expectation that uh, guys like Byram and Timmons are going to step up and play a bigger role next year? No, 100 uh, percent. We we knew uh, we knew that we we're. Yeah, we knew last year was going to be the deepest team we had um, uh, going forward, especially knowing that the cap was going to be flat and we have some, some high end guys coming that need a new contract. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be every opportunity. And I, you know, when you mentioned a guy like Connor Timmons, I thought he played real well and was coming in the playoffs and, and obviously bone bone's going to be healthy. And, uh, we, we expect him to, ha to have a big role for us. And, uh, we, we believe he's going to be ready for that. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi, Joe. Thanks for taking the time. Um, I'm wondering, was there ever any point where you're at least optimistic about reaching an agreement? With Grubauer, did you ever even come fairly close, or it just was a question of it's just not going to happen? Well, we we uh, we didn't uh, uh, we didn't know really. I mean, I was I optimistic? I was ho I was hoping that, uh, that that today we'd have good news from from uh, from Gooby, and uh, it it didn't happen. Obviously, uh, good for him. He uh, he had a, a great contract offer in Seattle, and 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 he took it. And and you know, like I said, we're 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 
we were grateful of, of how he played here and what he did for our organization. Now he has an opportunity to, uh, uh, to go somewhere else. And, uh, you know, we wish him the best of luck. And, and now it's up to us here with this organization to, to like I said, find uh, find our next uh, our next uh, next goalie that uh, is going to rotate and play with Pavel. And uh, we have some options and uh, we're going to explore all of them. Stephen Wino, Associated Press. Hey, Joe, you mentioned obviously being tied up against the salary cap. Seattle is a team that's coming in, doesn't have that problem, tons of cap space. How is, as, as a general manager, do you have to try to be creative and, and, and in a weird situation like this where you do have a flat cap because of the pandemic and also you have a, a factor of, of Seattle in there with all this cap space? How, how as a GM do you have to be creative in, given that situation? Well, I don't know about creative, but we wanted to just make sure we uh, we had our core guys locked locked up and locked up long time, and and then, I mean, we've known you you sign you sign those guys and keep them here, and uh, you you keep your core and you build around them, and and every year you're going to have uh, different depth depth guys uh, uh, to help support them. Scott McDonald, Colorado Hockey Now. Hey Joe, thanks for taking the time. I just had a quick question about the uh, you know the Gabe Landeskog negotiations and. Um, you know, whether they're controlled leaks or, you know, quotes that come out and things like that, it seemed like, you know, it was kind of heading towards a, a contentious negotiation. Did you ever get the sense at all that this thing was not going to get done? Or were you pretty confident that Gabe was always going to come back? No, I, I knew uh, all along that Gabe wanted to be here. We wanted him here. Um, and AAV, I mean, we, we, uh, the AAV is exactly what uh, what it was. And it was just uh, going along. It was just, uh, we were just talking going back and forth on term, what the right term was. And, uh uh, we we decided we're the one team that can give them eight years, and and we we're happy to get we're happy with that. Our captain's here, and uh, for the for the rest of his career. So, uh, both sides wanted this. Um, uh, you know, did it get quiet uh, there for for a week or two where there wasn't much going on? Yeah, but uh, but that's that's all part of the process. And uh, uh, we knew that going you know going in this last week, we'd have a lot of conversations, and we did. And uh, both sides are, are excited that. Uh, uh, that, that Gabe's uh, going to remain our, our captain for uh, for the rest of his career. Tom Glitty, NHL.com. Hi, Joe. Just kind of following up on that, you talked about keeping your core together. So you have Gabe here. You re-signed McCarr the other day. Were those priorities for you over the goalie situation or just worked out the way that way that it, those got done faster? Well, it worked out that, to be honest with you, we wished all, all three would be here. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously uh, – Having your captain and, and a franchise defenseman locked up uh, long term was very important for us, and we're we're excited about that. We were hoping to have a, a, a Philip today, and uh, that didn't work out. And, and now we're going to look at an op the options for that. But uh, but for sure, uh, you know, for us, uh, keeping our, our core core guys together was very important. We'll take two more here for Joe. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Joe, you got a lot tougher yesterday with McDermott. Um, I went through his hockey fights. He had 14 fights there with the Kings. Uh, he's a true heavyweight enforcer. Uh, in terms of playing defense, is he a guy that you foresee as a top six guy, or is he more of a situational type of guy? Well, we see him on the ice for us, and actually you know, he's been playing play a little bit of forward as well. So he, he can play forward or, or on the back end. But we thought it was important uh, uh, for us uh, to surround. We, we have a lot of amazing players and, and our core guys when we were around wanted to surround them with someone uh, who's a big hulking physical defenseman. Um, he likes to step up and, and keep guys honest uh, in the neutral zone. And, uh, and you know, what? the most important thing for us was uh, he, he's, a, he's a great character guy, great in the room. He's going to stick up for his teammates. And that's something that we feel were, was lacking here in the last couple of years. And we want to make sure we address that. And, and, we're, and I can tell you, so tell you one thing, our players are very excited to have him on, on our club. And last one here, Peter Baugh, the athletic. Yeah, Joe, I wanted to ask, have there been talks with Brandon Sod's camp at all, or is that, I guess, maybe a situation where there's just not enough cap space to make it happen? Yeah, we continue to have uh, uh, conversations uh, with him just up up to date. Uh, I think he understood where, where we were, and it would have been tough if uh, we had everybody, everybody here. Unfortunately, we would have loved to have Brandon. Thought he was a great player for us all year, and um, and in the playoffs, obviously. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, with uh, with the way the salary cap is, uh, we, we we couldn't uh, uh, we couldn't come to terms with him, or we weren't able to to, to keep him. And uh, I, I, I I didn't see if he uh, signed anywhere yet, but uh, I know he's going to do well.